Welcome in this next module, iOS Reverse Engineering. With iOS Reverse Engineering, we will go through a few steps. First, in this video, we will start with extracting the IPA file. So how can you get the app from a device, for example, or from other resources? Next, we will continue with decompiling the app, or decrypt might be the first step, because apps by default are encrypted. And after we have decompiled the app, we get access to the app's source code. So the source code can be in Swift or Objective-C, it might be obfuscated. So then the next step is to analyze this code. And also we will inspect some other, other app resources. So for example, the property list files. And in the last part, we will decompile an app, modify the app, and then compile it and run it again. So this part will also be interesting. So let's start with extracting the IPA file. For Android, it is a little bit easier because you can also install a virtual device with Play Store. And then you can just install the regular apps on your device on iOS. It is a little bit more difficult or Apple makes it more difficult nowadays. So first you need an Apple account. So for example, an account you used on iTunes before to purchase apps and purchase can also be free apps. And you also need a physical iOS device. Earlier it was possible with IBA tool to just give your credentials and then download it from the app store without the need of an iPhone. But this method unfortunately since a few weeks is not working anymore. So if anything changes there, then we will also update you about this, of course. But for now, the only way to get an official app is to use a tool called Apple Configurator 2 and also install the app on your physical device. So until a few weeks ago, this tool called IPA tool was very useful. It is a command line tool that allows searching and downloading app packages from the iOS app store. So with a command like IPA tool search and then the name of the app, you can get the name of the application. And then you can download it or purchase it. So this was a very easy way to download IPA files, which are official. But unfortunately, since this year, this tool is broken. You cannot purchase apps anymore if you don't have them installed on a physical device or site, something like that. So this option is broken for a while. Also, the author of this nice tool uh, acknowledged that it is broken at the moment. So unfortunately, this method will not work anymore. For this training, it's not that important because we will provide you with IPA files. But if you are interested in this, for now the only option is to have an iOS device. And then you can follow this manual created by a guy called Muhammad Ali. But if you're interested in how to get IPA files from the App Store, then you can also use a different method using a tool called Apple Configurator 2. So this manual created by a guy called Muhammad Ali. It is very nice. You can also follow. So you need to download the Apple Configurator 2 app from the App Store. Then you need to connect an iOS device and within this tool, it's already pretty old. The first version was, I think, from 2018 or 19 already. It's the same method. Then you can add apps to your device and then you can download the apps from a temporary folder which is created by this tool. So this is a working method to get IPA files if you have access to an iPhone. So just for your information. And the method we will use for now in this video is the simple SSA method. So if you have a jailbroken device, then you can just copy the files via SSH or you can also install an additional tool like Dump Decryptor if you have a real jailbroken device which will also decrypt the app and package it for you or use another Python tool called Frida iOS Dump. But for now I will show you the most easy method just via SSH or via secure copy. And similar to Android, you have, for example, apkmirror.com where installation files for iOS. There are also a couple websites but you need to be really careful with those websites because it can also be apps with malware included. So for example, this website, IPA OMTK, you can use where I, for example, downloaded the Threads app, but you have to be really careful with it. So it's for your, on your own risk. So in this case, you can also download the file from this website. So let's look into the SSH method. Like I already explained in the mobile hacking lab lab setup, I'm using one of the iOS labs you can do for free or with a lab subscription. And then you have this virtual device in your browser and you can connect over VPN and you can also connect over SSH. And then you can also do things like secure copy, which we explained earlier. So in my case, I'm using a VM, which is also used for Android, but it's just a general VM I'm using to do some mobile stuff. So in this case, I'm already connected to the VPN and I already set up the USB. If you don't know how to do it, please follow that video and workbook about the iOS 
mobile hacking lab, lab setup. But this workbook 4.1 will explain you how to get the app from a device. There are two methods. One is using a file manager. If you have a geobroken device and on the virtual lab device, we can use method two using SSH. So the first step we already did, we connected to the device via SSH, and then we can search for the application directories to look up the bundle ID of the installed app. And if we want to search for a specific app, then we can also do something like grab and then some part of the name of the app. But I think you already saw it as well here. So now we know the application directory. Now we know the application bundle directory, which is this. Then we can copy it. And then in the temp folder, we can create a payload directory. And then within this payload directory, we will copy the contents of this app because that is how the structure of an IPA file looks like. As we explained earlier in the architecture, so it's just a folder called payload, which is shipped. And then of course I need to use the correct bundle ID because this will be unique every time you install an app. This is the bundle ID. The only thing we need to do is ship this directory and then give it a name, which is logical for this app, like damn fundable iOS app version 2.ipa. In my case, there is no SIP application on my iPhone. So if SIP is not available on your iPhone, then of course you can also use SIP on your local machine or an, any other tool to compress it. But then I will use an alternative to just copy the complete folder to my machine. And then we will copy this complete directory to my local machine. You might get an error about a known host, so you can just follow this. And then we we'll try again. Yes, we will trust the server, password, Alpine, and then it will just copy the files one by one. That's also fine. So if you can zip it on your device, it will be faster. But if you don't have zip on your device, then this is also an easy way. And then we can continue with this next step. And then we will move the extracted folder inside the payload. And then we can zip this payload directory. And then we should have the same result. So now we have a new IPA file with this name. So this is the end result. And in the next video, we will continue with this IPA file. So this was it for extracting the IPA file. Hope to see you in the next video.